I found a better way to make Reddit stories than the normal way we discussed in this video. You don't need to go through the get the story from Reddit, find a background video, then generate a voiceover, and then generate captions process. That's outdated. Now, you can do everything with one click, and you can also control the video duration. Yes, you heard it right. The best part is that everything is customized. But wait, what does that even mean? To understand this, let me tell you about some comments I got from my last Reddit stories video. All these guys are having problems with TikTok. That's because their captions, content, video, and music are not customized. So in this video, I will show you step-by-step step how to make these Reddit story videos. So stay tuned. The first step is getting the story. So head to reddit.com. Then, you will need to find a subreddit where people are telling their everyday life stories and experiences. Take this as an example. This subreddit is called Confession. After getting into it, you will see a lot of different stories being dropped every day by different members. Now, we need to filter them to only pick the best and most interesting ones. So, click on this top icon. After that, we are going to change it to this month. I'm going to pick this one for example. Make sure you read it so you know what you are putting out there. After that, copy the URL. In this step, we are going to generate the entire video using AI. The AI tool we are going to use is vSub. So, head to this website. You will find the link in the description. After that, click on the Reddit Video Maker. Then, click on Get Started and create your account. I already have one so it will get me in automatically. On this page, you will find your older projects. Click on New File to create a new story, then select Reddit. After that, select the language and paste the Reddit story URL we copied earlier. Then click on Apply Magic. And just like that, the entire video is generated, including the background video the Reddit screenshot in the middle of the video, the voiceover, and the captions, all with one click. Now, let's say, for example, you want to edit something in the video. Here, you have the entire transcription of the video that you can change. Just remove the initial word and replace it with whatever you want, and it will be changed in the video. You can also move it through lines or add a new word. You can also change the emojis by clicking on them and choosing anything else you want. If you want to change the font settings, you can go to Styles. Here you can choose from a lot of different fonts that people usually use in short form content. You can also change the color and all the different text settings. Down here, you can change emoji settings, and you can add effects in the effects section. Now, for the content, go to Reddit. You can change the voice and the story there. Next, you can change or upload music in the music section. And you can go to screenshot to edit the different settings in the sticker. Here, you can edit the title, the subreddit, the username, the upvotes and downvotes number. And you can choose one of these screenshots to use. Now let's generate a story and see how the video is going to look. I'm going to go to the same subreddit and filter the stories to the top of all time. I'm going to pick this story for example. I'm going to copy the URL and follow the same steps as we did earlier. 
new file and paste the link. Then I will click on apply magic. Just by that, the video is generated. The settings we did earlier are still saved, so I'm going to change them. I'm going to start with the text color. Then I will remove the background. Then I'm going to set the active word to none. After the video is done, click on download to export and wait for some time so the video can be ready. After that, click on download video. Now, let's watch the video. I've stolen hundreds of dollars worth of water just by saying five words. My college has a food court in one of the main buildings. Chick-fil-A, sandwich place, salad bar, etc. You get your food and pay at the exit. Every single time I've eaten lunch there since I was a freshman, I grab a bottle of water with my meal, walk up to pay, and say, I brought the water in. The employees aren't paid enough to care, and I pay enough in tuition to not feel bad about it. I absolve you of your sins. Enjoy your water, the bottled water probably cost almost nothing to them, but you should bring your own water bottle, so that you don't have to waste the plastic. Chick-fil-A gives out free large waters if you ask. LOL. R slash water niggas. You're not actually stealing from the school and your tuition has no part to pay for that. You're just stealing from a company tongue. The college doesn't run these restaurants. They are owned by local franchisees or nationwide food service providers, Aramark. You paying tuition doesn't offset the cost to the restaurant by your theft in any way. Oh so you go to Cal Baptist? Or you could just bring water in, stop filling up landfills with single-use plastic, and stop stealing. You're a cheap thief. They know. They don't care. Everyone here is linking slash r slash water niggas but this shit belongs in slash r slash unethical life per tips. This is the only time I agree with the death penalty. I really don't think your tuition covers that. Also, what do you do with so many water bottles? Why don't you just, Ike, don't you have water fontaines at school? And just like that, the video is ready to be uploaded to any social media platform. I suggest uploading it to TikTok. Let me tell you how to do that. You need to pick a recommended song and set its volume to zero so no one can hear it. This helps your video get more attention. Also, make sure to add three related hashtags. This approach will make your video get more traction if it's an interesting story. Watch this next video if interested and join my Discord server down below. Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos.